When we talk about these global initiatives like the Sustainable Development Goals, like the New Urban Agenda, like the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, and we talk about concepts like smart cities, we are actually talking about what it means for people on the ground. And it can be uh, tempting uh, to get really caught up in the technologies and the analysis and the data and all of this that's, and, the, and the knowledge exchange and all of that and perhaps forget that um, we need to be very inclusive how we collect and utilize data. And especially if we're going to be using this for measurement and you know rankings, uh, that's not really the intention of most assessments. I understand that, but nonetheless, um, if it's if that data is not being collected in a really inclusive way and utilized in a very thoughtful way, it can actually reinforce some of the challenges that uh, this smart cities concept is, is aiming to address inequalities and justices and so forth. The second area uh, is really around uh, translating uh, the practical solutions to people so that there's an equitable distribution of these, um, of these uh, solutions. And so the whole concept of smart cities, um, as it grows and as it tries to keep up with the uh, incredible urban uh, expansion rates particularly here in, in cities in India, um, that that's an equitable uh, distribution of these technologies. The experiences and solutions uh, that uh, the cities in India um, have can actually be really helpful to export to other uh, countries, other cities. So I think there's a, a sort of a, a dual takeaway. There's a lot of work to be done on the ground in terms of skills gap and training particularly in you know, some key sectors. But certainly, uh, India seems to be quite far ahead uh, in terms of its sort of understanding of how you leverage smart cities and the concept of smart cities uh, to progress a lot of uh, key social urban development issues. Rapid urbanization, uh, you know, a, a nation that's full of megacities, um, huge uh, levels of inequality, um, water, sanitation, pollution, many of the same challenges that uh, Indian uh, big cities in India are facing. And so the solutions that are driving the transformation and, and uh, addressing these challenges in a successful way really can be, uh, I'm not sure if they can be 100% transferred to, but certainly they can be adapted for and those learnings can be shared with um, other cities that we're working with in our program. So I see a very concrete takeaway coming away from this conference uh, and being able to develop partnerships uh, that are very specific in terms of sector uh, areas of priority for the different cities here. Um, we've learned that transport is definitely uh, one that's emerging, um, water and sanitation, health, uh, but uh, cutting across all, I can see um, a real uh, program developing, public-private partnership developing with our partners with the new global, global compact cities program around skills training and trying to fill some of the skills gaps and capacity building.